Hiya, hiya. What's going on, everyone? Do you want to get your aerial better? And do you want to work on your dive cartwheels to prepare for the no-handed cartwheel? Well, let's do it. You've come to the right place. Let me show you a dive cartwheel and then an aerial, and we'll just go over some pointers. I'm Coach Megan. Howdy. Okay, here's the dive cartwheel. It's fun, it's like you're floating. And here's an aerial. So for both of them, in your hurdle, you want to keep it going long and keep your ribs in. So when you go, um, instead of being open like this, you really want to take these rivers and just pull them in as you hurdle. For the dive cartwheel, you can actually, as your knee goes up, you can circle your arms. They're actually gonna come back here more. You wanna lean, bend on this knee with your hip shoulder straight, like this, okay? And right as you're about here, you're gonna start to really put the weight all here in this leg, ribs in, and you're gonna up, your back leg's gonna go over your head and you're gonna extend this left arm, okay? But you're gonna land on your right hand first, so it's gonna go right left. What you don't wanna do is take off with your chest too high up and not bending this knee enough, because then that could be dangerous. You're gonna be too up away from the ground. Gosh, does that make sense? So you're gonna be up. Ah! <laughs> and you're just gonna fall onto your hands. But if you can get this nice deep lunge, ribs in, okay, here, and then look for the ground. Push off this leg as you drive that back leg up, extend this other arm. And think about floating it. As your back leg goes up over your head, you're almost gonna think about hovering. Be the hovercraft in the air for just a second, and I need your back leg to go straight up over your head, not around the side, because if it goes around the side, you're gonna be, it's just not gonna be a good situation. And that's gonna prepare you for the aerial. The aerial is pretty much the same thing, except in your takeoff, your arms, are out to the side more versus being back so much. But this is all still in, you're nice and square and tight, and your chest is actually gonna drop a little bit lower for the aerial. So you're gonna almost get to like about here, and then you're gonna think, look right here down at the ground, pop off this leg, remember it's a rocket booster. Same thing, as you push, dive, drive, not dive, Drive that back leg straight over your head. Look for the ground. You're almost gonna stay in the same spot more in the aerial and take it up a little more versus going out slightly in the dive cartwheel. The dive cartwheel, you still are gonna go up, but you're going slightly out. So look at this nice big step and push off this leg in my dive cartwheel. Circle my arms back, push. more. When your hands hit, push your shoulders in your dive cartwheel. If you hit your hands and you push your arms, look at what happens. Oh, geez. It's just not going to happen. So you have to have those shoulders pushed out. Turn your second hand in. So if you're righty, it's going to go like, like that. Okay, a lefty bump, bump. And then in the landing, just for both of them, look at the ground. And as this foot is coming down, you don't want it to slam into the ground too soon. Try and hold that back leg up as you pull your chest up for both of them. Does that make sense? Because if you land and you drop that leg right away like this, Position, pulling the chest 
chest up. So yeah, just pull your chest up quick out of your aerial and your dive cartwheel. And as you pull it up, try and square those shoulders and hips straight so that you're not um, crooked. And you can always do it from your knee. Your dive cartwheel, you can go here, arms back. Put the weight in here so you get the feeling of that push. And so even though I was from my knee, I'm still getting a little bit of lift. Think of like a puddle of water and you're diving over the puddle of water, okay? We'll do one more dive cartwheel for you and then you should get it. Okay, so nice, low, long hurdle, step out, circle back, lift. And I can literally see my hands as I'm going. As I'm pushing, I see my hands here. Because you don't want your arms out to the side as you go into your, your dive cartwheel. And um, for that aerial, just really get a good lift. You can practice here, okay? And boom! That's a good one for the aerial. I'll post tons of other videos to give more detail in depth. Now remember to squeeze your legs and point your toes, okay? You're in a skinny hallway and you gotta stay in the hallway. Feet right over your head. Thanks for watching. You can do it. The more you get some better air time in that dive cartwheel, the sooner your aerial will probably happen. Just remember to stay tight. And when you take off, please get this leg bent. channel for tons of other videos and you can subscribe if